Hey, gentlemen. If you were to rank yourselves on a scale of one to ten, how good the Indian American community was at like staging a coup? Ten being the most effective, one being the least effective. How would you rank yourselves as a community, the Indian American community? Staging a what? A coup. Of what? Of like the president. How 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 would you rank yourselves? Ten. You give yourselves a ten, wouldn't you? Why not? You guys are good. You, aren't you good at that? Not at all. You're not good at that? Are you, sir? No. Follow what exactly what you were saying. If you were to stage a coup, how good would you be at that as Indian Americans? Like, if you were to decide to stage a coup against the president, the Indian American community, like from India, the Indian Peninsula, decide to stage a coup on a scale of one to ten, ten being the most effective, one being the least. How effective would y'all be? You know, we are the biggest democracy in the world, right? The biggest Democrats. Yeah. We, we are. Yes, India the biggest is, Democrats. Is, you got, I mean, in U.S., you have two political parties. Yes. 25, and we are surviving with that. And the Democrat Party in India, compared to our Democrat Party, it's like the Democrat Party, yeah. essentially. It's so you, a multi-party system. It's not a two-party system. But it's liberal. It's very yeah. liberal. Exactly. Very so liberal. It just tells you that I don't think it's in the DNA of the, of the folks to be in that mode. Yeah, but... It might be in the DNA to not like a conservative Republican. Okay. Right? Okay. So you agree? Said okay. Yeah, All right. The cool thing is a little bit too far I, I, You think so? Yeah. But if you all want to advocate for your your political positions, and you decide to advocate for your political positions, you can help oust the president in a legalistic, legalese manner. Correct. You can oust him. I mean, because you're all Democrats. You said it yourself. Everyone's a Democrat. You can probably oust the president because you're all Democrats. You're all very liberal. You like, you know, the Barack Obamas of the world, so to say. Right? I mean, but I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm here for my Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it's, it's good to hear, you know, your opinions. And um, I'm glad that you say that most of you are Democrats, liberal Democrats. Because you... you you pretty much staff the entire U.S. government as analysts and coders, developers, right? For the most part. I'm not a coder. I'm a finance guy. Yeah. But yes, probably. Hey, you, you control our finance institutions. Hey, take care, guys. Please don't stage the coup. <laughs> Unless you're already doing it, right? That is not happening. We are not that good at it. Well, you're not. You said you're a Republican. You're putting words in my mouth, to be frank. You're just... When I say multi-party system, no, I said it's a multi-party system. You were saying that means you're a Democrat. No. You it's said a it, not me. multi-party system. Oh, now you're retracting your statements. <laughs> you, you, you put words in my mouth, so I'm sorry. Take care, guys. Take care. Please, no coup. Please, please, please. Okay. And he said okay. He said please, no coup. He said okay. <laughs> Thank God he said okay. <laughs> so he confirmed what I was saying. They know goddamn well they could stage a coup if they wanted to stage a fucking coup. And this guy works in finance, so they control our finance institutions as well as the entire intel apparatus of the United States government. And I, you heard him yourself. He said, please don't stage the coup. And the guy said, okay, take care, everybody. I don't like that. That, that makes me very fucking, very, excuse me, I'm sorry to curse, but it makes me very uncomfortable. Take care, everybody.